This video will just help you along the way as you draw your tulips in a pot. So as you probably noticed, I've added some little helpful things that you could look at in your Google Classroom, but I will go through the drawing steps as well. If you choose to do daffodils, those are a little more challenging. I highly encourage you to do them, but I will not be going over those in this video. When your name's on the back, you're going to start by making your pot for your pot of flowers. So, oh, a few rusted fingers from the bottom of your paper. You're gonna start by making kind of a rounded rectangle that's pretty wide. So I'm just lightly sketching and making my rectangle. And this is going to be the top of the flower pot. And it's, oh, like two fingers or so from each edge. And then I'm gonna kind of make a very slightly slanted line to make the bottom part my pot and then a slightly slightly curved line for the very bottom and then I don't want it to be floating so I'm going to add just a little line here to show maybe a table or something that it's setting on and now we're ready to start adding those flowers that you have the directions for in the area that's all blank here you're going to start making those tulips so it sort of looks like a letter U that's really, really wide. So when you do it, you're gonna kind of make a letter U that someone kind of squashed out the two sides. And you should be able to fit a few fingers inside of there. So that's how big mine is. We'll zoom so you can see a little bit better. And then inside the middle part here, you're gonna make kind of an egg shape. Or at least that's kind of what that puddle looks like to me. It's a little skinnier at the top than it is at the bottom. And then you're going to complete these petals. Just kind of swooping around. Same thing here, little rainbow kind of shape here. And then you're gonna add another little rainbow shape on top and that will make your flower. So you're going to do this in the empty areas before you start adding your stem. So continue making that same shape. When you've completed your flowers, you're ready to add your stems. And remember, some of your stems you might not see because you might have a flower in front of it. So for example, this one, I'm gonna draw it and I'm gonna stop my line right where that petal is. And I'm gonna continue the line coming down right here. So it's kind of hiding behind some of those petals and that's okay. And I didn't do it too skinny. It's still skinnier than my finger, but it's not like really, really, really skinny. So go ahead and add your stems to every single one. Remember when some of them are hiding or maybe you wanna create an overlap here. So I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm gonna draw this one in before I continue the other one. And I'm lightly sketching so I can go back and fix any little oopsies I made right here. And we'll make this one kind of wind down right here. Okay. After completing your stems, you're gonna add probably some leaves, which are like really wide, big letter Vs with a little line in them. So add just a few leaves. You don't need to add too many, just anywhere that you might have some empty space that you could fill, you can add a leaf there. When you love your drawing, go ahead and trace with a black marker so you can see those pencil lines very well. When you're done tracing with a black marker, go ahead and add some color. And remember, if you're using crayons to press very hard so you have nice dark coloring without a bunch of little teeny tiny white spots. If you're using markers, take your time for the same reason. Go nice and slow so your coloring looks wonderful.